Do you need to create an expense approval workflow? Well, let me show you how with JobForm. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And like I mentioned, if you are needing to approve expenses, you can absolutely do that with JotForm workflows. So let me show you how. I'm gonna head to the top left-hand corner, right currently in my forms, I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then top left-hand corner, we're gonna choose create workflow, and I'm going to choose a template. And as you can see, we have a lot of different templates to choose from, but up in the top, I'm gonna do a quick search for expense. And we can utilize this very first one, the expense approval template. All right, so up at the top, we have our starting point, which is going to be our expense reimbursement form. Let's go ahead and choose edit form so we can get an idea of what we're gonna be asking for. So we have their name, job title, department, lots of really great questions. We have that entire expense list and we have the total cost. And I'm assuming that this total cost field is going to total up the expenses from the table. All right, let's head back over. And one thing I love about the approval process or our workflows in general is this really nice bird's eye view of everything. You can see from start to finish what is happening in this entire process. So as soon as they fill out that form, it's gonna come to the finance specialist for approval, and then they can approve or deny. We can see if it's denied, it's going to send an email letting them know that it's been denied and then it's gonna finish there. It's gonna terminate the entire process. Next, if it's approved, we have an if else condition and it depends on the cost. So let's go ahead and look at the settings of this. So we can see that if the cost is greater than $1,000, it's gonna go ahead and move it down to be approved even more. If it's under $1,000, it's gonna come over this way. And let's take a look at what this one looks like. And we can see that your expense reimbursement has been approved. So we can see if it's over $1,000, it needs a little bit more approval. If it's under $1,000, it's automatically good to go. So if it is over $1,000, it's gonna come down one more time to the finance manager to approve. And then of course, we have the approval, we get the approval report. If it's denied, we have another email going. Now, as you can see in these approval sections, it's currently just me as the approver. However, if we want, we can come to our settings and we can add different people. If you have an assistant or other people, you can do that as well. Something else that you can do is you can pull from the form field. So from within your form, if you're asking for your employee to add their manager's email, you can pull from the form fields, like right here, it says manager's email, we can check here. So that way it's gonna go to the finance specialist to approve and their boss. So let's go ahead and give this a quick test. I'm gonna go ahead and choose publish and we will open in a new tab. And let's give this a fill out. We're gonna do our good friend, John Smith, and he is a sales manager. And we can come down, we can add some expenses. And we're gonna go ahead and make it to where it's $999. And we can see that it went ahead and totaled it for us right down here. We can go ahead and certify and we can submit our form. Now, because it was under $1,000, we're not gonna need that second level of approval. So we can head back over. Up in the top left-hand corner, we're currently in workflows. I'm gonna jump over to my inbox because it is going to come to me and it's also going to come to my email. So if you're not currently in job form, you are going to be notified. So we can see right here, we have John Smith with his boss being Katie Jones. We have action required. We have all of his information. And if we scroll down here, we can see I can either approve or deny. So we can go ahead and say we approve. And as a part of that approval process, it probably said that we need specific people or amount of people to approve. So we go ahead and show those details. We can see that it is currently waiting for Katie to approve this form. But as of right now, we are good to go because we're waiting on Katie's reply. Let's go ahead and jump back over to our workflow and let me show you how to edit that. So that way we don't run into that issue again to where that way it can be just one person needing to approve. So if I click here and choose our settings right here, it says require response from the majority. So if we come down here, we can just say require response from one person. So that way either one of us can approve this expense and it'll go through without needing the other person. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm workflows for an expense approval process, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.